Lena asked me if um, I wanted to talk about advantages of being a member of a fitness facility like a health club versus having your home studio or your own home fitness equipment. So I came up with some, as you can see, a list of pros and cons for each of them. And some of them, the pros and the cons are the same thing and it depends on your personality. So for um, having a health club membership, the biggest pro is that you have access to a variety of equipment, services, um, depending on your level of um, membership. You could have access to saunas and whirlpools and group exercise classes, um, maybe tennis courts, basketball courts. Um, those things in addition to a variety of cardiovascular exercise equipment, strength training equipment, free weights, um, maybe you have access to personal training, um, those things, educational components as well. The um, social aspect should not be overlooked by certain people. Um, for instance, my dad's retired he, if he didn't go and work out in the morning, he would never talk to anyone other than my mom. So um, he really enjoys meeting other um, retired guys his age there, um, and they talk and work out. And um, I know that um, some of our older members that we have in our MCC Fitness Center, it's a, uh, the social aspect can be um, just as important, I've seen it, is um, the, the physical fitness aspect of it. Um, they, go, they organize breakfasts and luncheons, um, even support groups. If some of them have lost a spouse, the, they will help um, drive people to doctor's appointments, um, things like that. It becomes um, a very strong um, aspect as they age, um, getting out and socializing. And it really, um, really helps their overall wellness. I've seen that. Um, some cons to having a, a fitness center membership or health club membership would be, you know, membership dues. You're going to have to pay. And again, that a lot of times would depend on the services that you're um, wanting to pay for with that member. A lot of places have different levels of memberships. Um, you have to share equipment and services. You have to share locker rooms and um, maybe you, you need to wait for your favorite treadmill to open up um, or your favorite piece of uh, cardiovascular equipment. Um, I put the social aspect, that can be a con <laughs> for some people too. Um, you get there, you get talking to people and you're not getting your workout in. Um, you want to be left alone, but people are constantly talking. And some people see this as a negative, and some people see it as a positive. And it could also depend um, the same person at different points in their life, the social aspect can be a pro and a con. If you're very busy, um, you've got um, a lot going on, a full-time job, maybe you volunteer in the community, you're still raising children or you're taking care of your parents and you just don't have much time and you need to get in and get your workout in. Now you're not looking for the social aspect of it. You get enough of that with everything else you're doing. You just don't want to be bothered with anyone and you want to get your workout in. Later on, like I said, you get a little older and um, maybe you really do need that social aspect. When you're younger and you don't have the constraints of um, uh, full-time job and children or parents or those things, maybe you do want to go and kind of hang out for four hours while you work out, okay? You got the time. So again, that, it really depends on your personality and where you are in, in your, your life. Um, but really, you know, so with the health club, it's the overall time commitment. Um, there's commuting time, sharing equipment, um, social aspects. Those things are going to chew into your overall time that you have in a given day. Um, these are the main pros and cons I can think of for health club memberships. Um, and again, it's going to depend on your personality. 
in um, what else you have going on, um, how much emphasis you put on these pros and, and cons, how much it's going to really matter to you. Um, with a home gym, really the big question is, are you actually going to use the equipment that you purchase? Because a lot of people will buy equipment and then it goes unused. And so you really have to look at yourself. Maybe you don't know if you, maybe you've never had home equipment, so you don't know if you're going to use it or not. Um, but that's the big question with the home gym. Are you actually going to use the equipment? Um, the pros of having a home gym, obviously it's available 24-7, okay, every day of the week. Um, privacy, maybe you want alone time, maybe you're around people all day long and you have commitments here and there and you just need that time to focus on yourself. You've got it with your home gym, okay? Um, the lower overall time commitment is a, probably one of the biggest um, pros of having in your home gym. There's no commute, there's no sharing equipment. You get in, you get out, and you get your work done in a private setting. Um, the cons of it, there's upfront cost of the equipment. Okay, you need to have a little layout of cash before you can get going. Um, but you can also figure out, um, you know, maybe you have a health club membership. What are your membership dues? Would you have both? Would you also still be going because you don't want to give up some of the services and the variety? Um, or are you going to go exclusively to a home gym? Um, me personally, what happened is um, I, I had a, a gym membership and then um, I had kids <laughs> and I didn't have a whole lot of time with working full time. And, um, so I made a cash layout at the point when I had my first kid and got home equipment and I made that back in the gym memberships in less than three years. And I still have that equipment now, 15 years later, and it's not breaking. It's gonna be around for 15, 30 more years. And I made, I made that cash layout. I, I paid once, I hurt once with the payment, and then that was it. And then, I, like I said, I made that up in memberships. Yes? Do you still use it? I, I still use it, yes. <laughs> yep. And now um, my sons are starting to use it too. So my wife occasionally uses it. <laughs> um, you need space. You need a space, whether it's in your garage or in your house, in your basement. Okay, so that's a consideration. Um, you're not getting services unless you buy a sauna, make space for it, put it in your house, buy a whirlpool, build a gymnasium with a court and swing pool in it. Um, you're not. Ha you're not having personal training um, or group exercise classes available to you. Um, there are interruptions and distractions at home. We used to say, oh, the phone rings and you have to answer, but now most people have cell phones, <laughs> you know. Um, but family interruptions, maybe your kids are bothering you or your spouse is yelling down in the basement if you're working out down there. Um, multitasking, um, my equipment's in my basement, in um, our laundry facility is there, so it's always like, oh, I should put a load of laundry in while I'm doing it. You know, so now I'm trying to multitask with that. Maybe I want to run upstairs quick and preheat the oven. So you have some interruptions and distractions that you wouldn't have if you were out at another facility outside of your house. Um, and then a con is. There's no social aspect. You're not getting out of the house and meeting other people and socializing. And again, that can be seen as a pro and a con depending on where you are in your life and um, your own personality. Um, so those are kind of the, the major pros and cons that I can, can come up with for having a, a gym membership outside of your home and having um, your own home equipment. And your needs might change as you go through life. Um, what did I miss? Can you think of anything? Yes, Selena. What about safety issues as far as like being spotted when you're using Right. So, right. So if you're at a health club and let's say you're doing some strength training, you're doing a bench press and you're, um, you want someone to spot you and help you um, lift that weight for safety reasons, um, when you're doing it at home, you have to make sure you have the right equipment um, where you have safety bars and you're, you're so that um, 
the the weight will not drop on you if you happen to lose control of the weight. So there are, and that is going to be more of a, an equipment outlay price um, ahead of time, which is personally what I did. I took that into account and um, I got the right equipment that I knew I needed. Um, but then there are still some considerations you need to take. You know, when you're younger, you don't think of, well, what if I have a medical issue while I'm exercising and I'm home alone in the basement, who's gonna know about it? You don't think about th that when you're in your 20s and 30s, when you get in your 40s, 50s, 60s, that might be um, an issue or, or something that you wanna really think about. Um, for instance, early in the morning, at our MCC Fitness Center, we have a lot of um, members that have gone through cardiac rehabilitation after they've had um, either a bypass surgery or a cardiac event. Um, one of the reasons they want to come here is because um, myself or Nikki is going to be there and we have the AEDs and we're watching them and we have the ability to take their blood pressures and heart rates and their, um, their pulse ox and those things that they're interested in. So they're, they're factoring in um, that safety issue. Yeah, that was a good, I, guess, I don't know why I didn't put that on there. That was a good one that, it, that you caught. Um, anything else? What do you think? Any experiences here with people? With, um, Mary, you like working out at midnight, you said. Or at, did at one point. I did at one point, yeah. Yeah. I'm a night person, so I prefer to do things like that at night. Right. Bad bake, you know, stuff. So then, um, you wouldn't want to join exclusively here because we're not open at midnight. <laughs> so that decision there. Um, the convenience factor. Um, you know, maybe the, some people have multiple memberships or they'll have equipment at home in a supplement it with a membership somewhere else so they can kind of enjoy the benefits of both. Um, and that's something that, um, you know, a fair number of people actually end up doing. So what kind of equipment would you recommend for a home? Well, that's going to depend on the individual in um, what, what I would recommend is um, figuring out, you have to know what you're doing. You have to have some experience with working out and, and understanding really what you're going to use and, and what you enjoy doing and what's effective for you. Um, so let's say someone is an endurance athlete, they like doing 5Ks and those things, they might think about having a treadmill or other cardiovascular equipment at home because that's their, their main thing. Um, other people are going to be, and we're trying to get a lot of people into strength training, so then you're looking at um, what kinds of strength training are you doing? Are you using a lot of dumbbells? What kind of dumbbells should I get? That can get expensive. How many do I need? Um, there are nesting type dumbbells you can get where it's a whole system where it's one stack of dumbbells and you can put a pin in and you know make it five pounds or 25 pounds or that you might want to invest in one of those. Um, it's going to really depend on the individual on, on what they want. Um, personally what I did is I got, um, I got rubber flooring and then I got um, a barbell rack like we have in the fitness center with the safety bars coming out. Got a barbell, weights, weight plate holder, adjustable bench, um, and then I got the I got a really good pair of adjustable dumbbells that go from five to ninety pounds. So that's almost like having that whole rack of dumbbells that takes up the space of about this this desk. There's a little stand and they they nest right on there. Um, so that's kind of a little bit of cash outlay in the beginning. Um, and then I upgraded the barbell to a really good one. Um, when I first got it, I got the barbell that came with the set. Um, and then I did some stuff where I mounted a pull-up bar. Um, I've purchased some very good um, surgical tubing or the stretch cords to kind of act as um, a pulley system. Um, other people, they might want to look at getting um, like the old multi-gyms where you have, it, it's selectorized equipment where you pull the pin out on a weight stack and select which weight you want and you're on guide rods and, and pulleys. Um, you can get those. That's going to be a big cash outlay in the beginning. 
um, to get something decent, but then if you figure out, well, I know I'm gonna do this for five years, then after that five year mark, you've, you know, what you would have paid in your gym membership, you've already gotten, gotten that back, and then, every, and then it's paid off, essentially, if that's something that you're using. Um, so really, the, the home gym, to go exclusively to a home gym, it's going to be someone who has some experience exercising and really knows themselves in, in what they want and what their main goal is for, for their exercise. Um, the other thing I'll bring up is you can find a lot of equipment on Craigslist, um, Facebook Marketplace, and so um, but you need to know what you're looking for and then just kind of be patient and then you'll see a good deal come up and then you go for it. The other thing is, this is good, um, say hey, you know, my birthday's coming up, our anniversary's coming up, Christmas is coming up, now you've got a built-in thing that your uh, family can um, use to, you know, for, you know, to kind of build this over time as well. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Okay, so talking about the MCC Fitness Center, you're open till 5.30. Mm -hmm. Someone like me works till 4.30. Mm -hmm. Okay, by the time I go change, get down there, it's 4.45. How worthwhile is it for me to work out after work at the MCC Fitness Center? Depends. Okay. Um, we have a very similar situation right in this room. <laughs> um, and if you can... Let's say you have, uh, let's say you have a dog at home and you like walking your dog and you're active doing that. Maybe you come into the MCC Fitness Center from 4.45 to 5.30 and you're doing strength training, something that you wouldn't get at home. Um, or maybe you have a, a rowing machine or an elliptical cross trainer at home that you like doing for your cardiovascular. You have nothing, okay. Um, you like riding your bike or something. So maybe what you do is you pick something that we have in the MCC Fitness Center that um, you don't have access to outside of there and that's what you're gonna focus on in those 45 minutes. The other thing would be if, if you're gonna have the time to do that um, four or five days a week, we could set up an alternating program type thing where um, you're doing um, some strength training on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays and some cardiovascular exercise on Tuesdays, Thursdays and you're just you're going 45 minutes every day and you're getting a uh, you're just you're on task and you're not talking shop with anyone else that's in there and you get going and you get a good workout in you can get a very good workout in in 45 minutes if you're focused i know amy gets a very good workout in she works hard she's sweating away in there and, every time yeah 40, 45 minutes i i have to be flexible i i have to be flexible mm -hmm. if i if I can get down there, just go, and then just do what you can in the time that you have, and with the motivation that you have. Last night, I didn't have time, so I went home and I walked the dog. So, you know, I, I have bought, have purchased um, dumbbells, so that the days that I don't get strength training in, because I want to get the cardio in, then I'll go home and do the strength training at home, because those are affordable. Those are affordable to purchase, and especially in the weights that I'm comfortable lifting. I don't have to buy a whole set, I just have purchased what I'm comfortable with. So it's really kind of being creative. And they open at 6 a.m. Oh, really? <laughs> this is the night person. You're such a night person. You could <laughs> just stay up all night, and then it's like being re working out really late at night. <laughs> How late do you open at Fridays? 4.30? 5.30. Oh, 5.30 on Fridays as well? Mm -hmm. So, so Joel, can you just tell us what the membership is, the fee and everything for employees at the MCC? Yeah, so um, $30 for a, a four-month block. Um, we, we got one that starts January through April, and then May through August, and then September through December. So if you want to join now? If you want to join now, you would join in this block that we're in. It just It's not retroactive or anything. You know, it would go from now until the end of April. If you get, we have an employee incentive program, so within that, those four block, four month blocks, if you achieve 43 hours of exercise in the um, spring or fall during the, the big semesters, and it's a little less, it's 35 in the summer because of Fridays, 
Um, if you achieve those, that amount of exercise in the, the fitness center, then you get that tuition for another one of those four month blocks, you get a credit for that tuition. So we've got um, multiple employees that have not paid in years. Um, they've made it kind of part of their day, um, whether it's in the morning after work or um, somehow over you know their lunch hour or something, that they're coming in often enough that um, they, they keep hitting that incentive mark for those hours of exercise and, and then the tuition is, is rolled over. You can also choose to get a, um, a year and, it, and the year would start when each of those um, blocks start and it would be seven, it's $70 for a year. So it's a little bit of a break on, on that. And if you don't meet the incentive marks, then make sure you're doing Lena's wellness program because then you can use the wellness blocks. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. I gotta give you credit yeah. for the work you've done. Yeah, so. Um, so we can use a wellness box to sign up for the fitness center. Yeah. And then um, you can, um, fig like, you know, you figure out what you, what you like doing and what you have access to and what you think you could ha um, have access to at home, and you could um, kind of do what um, Amy's doing. And you know. the correct form. This is a yes. form really important. Yeah. Yep. I did not start at home with dumbbells till I had Joe and Nikki watching and make sure I was using proper form before I felt comfortable enough to do that at home. So you're good with helping people learn how to do things. I always hate to ask. No, we we work with you. Um, Amy, I don't know if you want to talk about yeah, your wonderful. Wonderful. In fact, I have always been, I've never had a gym membership because I've been too intimidated, but walking in there and talking to Joe and Nikki, I am so comfortable going to them and if they answer questions, they keep you motivated, they check your form, they, if you're ready to advance to a different level or try something new, they'll expose you to that. You still have to do the, the fitness evaluation? Yep, uh, fitness evaluation at the beginning of your membership, and then you can have additional ones as you desire. Um, it takes about 20 minutes. It's not hard. No. Yeah. And you have to have medical clearance over what age? Um, well, for the women in here, 55. Men, 45. Men what? 45 what for men. That? Well, men have... <laughs> it's physiology, um, and men have more cardiovascular risk after 45 years old than women do. This is, it's a it's a it's an industry standard. The American College of Sports Medicine has these risk stratifications, and um, for men it starts at 45, for women it starts at 55. For risk, is starting a cardiovascular exercise program. Any questions, any comments? This is, I have to reinforce what a great opportunity this is here between the wellness program and the fitness center. When I've gone back now within the past six months and seen my doctors and have shared what I've been participating in, they are so thrilled. They, and they say how lucky we are to have this opportunity. So thank you both. And, and not only that, but uh, on an individual day, it energizes you, and you, you, you're, if, if you're lucky enough to be able to um, do it in, in the morning or in the middle of your day, you're, you're more productive in the rest of your day as well. That's what ends up happening. I, I don't know, I, I told you that, Amy, and you kind of like, okay, you know, and then you said, you know what? <laughs> yeah, you're right. I've come back to you and said, yeah. no, you were right. <laughs> yep. All right, that's, that's what I got. We're about two minutes left, so. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs>